Hey guys, today I'm just going to kind of show you how to use this Bukaru or Vokaru or Buka, whatever it is, to allow you to be able to add some voiceover for your slides and get that submitted. All right, it's a pretty simple concept. All right, as you are looking through this, hopefully by now you have started with some of your slides. Uh, when you actually pull up this assignment, you should click on this untitled presentation. Please make your slideshow here because this will be super important. The second link that you will see is the Vukaru link. If you click on that link, it'll take you to the website of the thing that we use to record. And then finally, there's the rubric. Please look at the rubric before you do anything else because it'll be very important for you to know how I'm going to grade. All right? Uh, so what you should do in order to use this Vukaru, you should finish your entire presentation. I recommend that as you work on this presentation, you might want to take some notes just on things that you might want to say because those will make it sound much nicer when you use the Vukaru. All right, so you'll click on this link, and it's actually really, really easy. It'll take you to this page, which says Vukuru, the premier voice recording service. It doesn't require you to sign in. It's actually really, really simple. You press this button right here, and when you press it, it'll start recording you. And as it is recording you, you can go to your slides. So let's say, for example, I was doing with my space slides. I can go through here, and I can just look at each slide and talk about what's on the slides, and it's still recording in the background, even though I'm not directly looking at it. And this way I can kind of go through my slides and make sure I have everything ready to be talked about while also having it recorded. Uh, you are allowed to, for yours, to do all of your Vukuru on one recording. So you can start at the first page of your slide. You know how I've been breaking it up. And you can just do one large recording to be attached and shared with me. Once you've made it all the way through your slides and talked all the way through, you go back to Vukuru and it's going to have this blinking button. You press the big blinking button, and it's going to stop. And you'll see now that it has this time where it says 0 to 45. You can replay it here and listen to it again. But what I'm going to have you do is press the Save and Share button. When you press Save and Share, it's going to give you a link here. I don't really want the link. What I want you to do is press the Download button. All right. When you press the Download button, it should make a download or go into your Downloads file. Once you have this downloads file, then you can attach it to your assignment. So once you are very, very confident in your Vukuru, you can go back to your assignment and you can press that little button where it says add over here on the right. Mine looks different because it's the teacher view. Uh, if you press the add button, you should be able to add from uh, an upload and upload this file from here or drag and drop it from here in some way, shape, or form. If you need help getting that Vukuru attached to your document, let me know and I can help you get that attached. All right? Uh, once you have done that with your slides, all you have to do is on your assignment is you'll have to have your slides completed and that Vukuru attached and you can turn it in. Remember, I will use this choose a section rubric to grade your paper or to grade your assignment. It should be pretty easy for you. I've written a couple of things that should be included, so take your time as you are going through this. That's essentially how to use Vukuru. It should be pretty easy. The thing to remember is once you start recording, you press the pause button, and then you need to go save and share, download. All right, download it, and then upload it. All right, let me know if you have any questions, guys. Have a good one.